Hey everyone, welcome back. Let's get crafting. So for this first project of Goodwill slash Dollar Tree items, I'm going to be using this glass, I don't know what you would call it, I guess it's supposed to be a vase. Um, these were a dollar during the Goodwill day that I went. You're also going to need, um, besides for a vase, <laughs> you're going to need the Oh my God, spackle stuff that they have at the Dollar Tree. Um, some white acrylic paint or chalk paint, whatever you have. And then I'm using the antique wax um, also for this project. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the spackle and I'm just putting it into any kind of a cup. I had just a whatever coffee mug. <laughs> so um, I'm putting the spackle in there and then I'm also going to mix that with the acrylic paint. So this will just give your paint that you're going to be applying to your glass piece some texture. Um, because at the end, I wanted the paint to kind of look almost wood-like on the glass piece that we're going to be painting. So um, make sure that you mix it up really, really well so that there's not any kind of clumps. And for like painter's tape, I don't use that on glass. Um, I find that electrical tape is a lot easier to maneuver on uh, glass items and you still get that bounder. Yeah, the bounder, oh my goodness. You still get that boundary like it won't go underneath of the tape. It gives you a nice straight line, which is really, really nice. So for this glass item, I didn't want it to be perfect all the way around. So I do have it higher up in the back side and then kind of dipping down in the front. And once I got done putting the tape on, I then started painting my project as my cat jumps across. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so um, I do one coat going side to side, and then the second coat I do up and down just to make sure that I do have full coverage on this glass item. And I'm not worried about if it's all smooth. Again, I want texture. That's what I'm looking for. So when you do this, just have fun with it. It doesn't need to be perfect, which is always great. I will also tell you that painting with the spackle mixed in with the acrylic paint, it did take a little bit longer for it to fully dry before I could go on to the second coat. So um, I tried kind of painting over it while it was still kind of wet and semi dry and it really wasn't working out. So make sure before you put on your second coat that your first coat is dry. Once both of your coats are dry completely, then it's time to go ahead and apply the antique wax. So I am taking, again, one of those chip brushes that I find at the Dollar General. You get them two for a dollar. They're amazing. I think they're supposed to be like I don't know, like barbecue brushes or like brushes you would use for food. Yeah, no. Um, these are fantastic for this kind of like paint that I'm going for. So um, at first you want to put on a nice thin coat. Uh, you don't want to go too heavy with your first coat. Um, and I did two coats of the brown, so not too much of my white was showing through. Now, if you wanted to go ahead and have the white show through more, you could always obviously put on less. But again, I was going for a more of a wood texture kind of look, so that is why I put more of the antique wax color on. So this way here, it does look w more wooden. And then with the textured paint, you've got those lines and everything in there like you would on a wooden project. So, um, yeah, I really love how this one turned out. But after that completely dries, then we're going to move into what we're going to be 
putting in this. So when I seen this, I automatically thought this would be great as kind of like a terrarium. Um, at the Dollar Tree, you can go get any kind of succulents that they have. Um, the fake succulents, they are such a great price for just a dollar. I picked up three of them. Um, from the Dollar Tree. Actually, I've picked up several, so don't let me lie to you, um, because I've got a whole bunch of projects I want to do with those. Um, but I'm putting three into this face. So the first thing you're going to want is, of course, three of the succulents that you would like to use. Um, and then I am going to use the uh, Spanish moss, and then I'm also going to use the reindeer moss. So these both come from the Dollar Tree as well. And you can put as much as in there as you'd like. You could also put some rocks down at the bottom if you'd like. I was okay with just putting the moss down at the bottom and then putting the succulents directly on top. So um, for me, I put a generous amount of the Spanish moss and just kind of made sure that it was flattened down in there, but not too much. And then I wanted more of a touch of greenery to it. So that is why I put the reindeer moss in there. Not only that, maybe I'm weird, but I love the smell of the reindeer moss. And I just figured if you got up close to it with the reindeer moss, it would actually smell like maybe the items in there were real and not fake. But that's just me. Again, I might be weird. But after you go ahead and you get your moss all in there, um, the bottoms of the succulents from the Dollar Tree pull right out. And I just cut the tips off that were still there. So, um, but that's it for this project. It's just a cute little terrarium. I love it sitting on my table. It's really cute. It's great for spring or any time of the year. Let me know what you guys think of this first project and if you'd create something like this for your home as well. So for the second DIY, again, going with the same theme, I'm going to be using two of these candlesticks that I got from Goodwill. They were a dollar a piece. And I walked past these a few times and then finally put them in my cart. And then I also found this little thimble of, well, it's supposed to be like a thimble of, of string, but it has some twine wrapped around it. This was also a dollar and it had um, one of those metal... I don't know, spikes coming out of the center of it that you could put a picture on, whatever the heck that's called. Um, I didn't want it for the picture reason. I just wanted it to add some decoration. And then also you're going to need two of these circles from the Dollar Tree as well. So the first thing we're going to do is get out our paint. I'm going to be using Elephant by Waverly and then also Plaster by Waverly. And at first I thought when I was going to paint this, I was going to use the beauty sponges from the Dollar Tree. Um, yeah, no. Uh, so I'm taking some of Dollar Tree's 100% acetone nail polish remover, and I'm just wiping that over top of these candlesticks just to get any dust and grime that might be on them. You can also do this with any kind of like rubbing alcohol. Um, but this is what I had on hand and it works just as well. So once we are done cleaning them all off, then we're going to go ahead and paint them. So I'm, as you can see, not painting with a brush or going in any kind of emotion. I'm tapping this on. These candlesticks were very textured already. So I wanted to make sure that when I was painting these, I was getting into all of the grooves that were on there and um, we're going to be distressing them anyway. So those grooves are just going to help pull that distress color we're going to add later on. So um, I didn't want them to be smooth. I wanted them to have texture as well. So tapping the paint on gave me a lot better coverage, more full coverage so that I didn't have to paint as much. I did have to put on two coats of this only because the red was so dark. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's chalk paint. It dries really fast. So this didn't take any time at all to do. So two coats, white, plaster, whatever color actually you'd like to paint these. Um, if you find any kind of candlesticks like this, 
don't get discouraged. You can always give them a facelift and make them part of your decor. So uh, that's what I did with these. I, I went ahead and painted them both white. And I did the same thing with those Dollar Tree circles. I painted those with two coats of white as well. Once your white paint is all finished and dried, then it's time to distress. So again, using one of those chip brushes from the Dollar General, I pick up a little bit of the elephant color, which is just a nice deep gray color. And I'm putting that anywhere that I want it, actually. <laughs> um, wherever you want to distress it, put as much on, put as little on, whatever makes your eyes happy. Um, some people, less is more. I I don't know. I really went in with the gray on these. I think they turned out fabulous, though, in the end. I'm very, very happy with the way that these turned out. Um, so I do that to both of them. And then I also do it to these circles once I get them put onto these candlesticks. So I didn't want to have the thin pillar candles that normally go in these type of candlesticks. So what I did was I took those two circles from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to hot glue them, one of them directly onto one of these candlesticks. So making sure that I have it in the center, um, I then have a nice, you know, platform for a bigger pillar candle. Um, so that's why I did this. <laughs> and then for the second candlestick, I showed you that thimble earlier. I'm going to glue that onto the candlestick first. And then I'm going to take the other circle and glue that on top. So adding this thimble actually made the second candlestick taller than the first one, which is nice because then you've got like their ascending or whatever. Anyway they just look better um, instead of having them both the same size, at least to me. Um, and then for the final touch on that first one, I thought it was just a little bit plain. So I do go in with a little bit of twine and make a twine little bow and put that and hot glue it down onto the bottom of that first candlestick. So I love how these came out as well. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about these. Would you have painted them a different color? Um, what would you have done to make them part of your decor? For our final DIY, I got inspired by a photo that I had seen um, with these little glasses that had succulents in them. So I thought, hmm, I could recreate that for a lot less money than what they were selling them for. I think they were selling them for $12 or $15. Um, so literally, this is going to cost you three bucks. <laughs> um, go to your Dollar Tree and find a wine glass, one of the ones that are stemless as I have here. And again, I'm just taking some of that acetone nail polish remover and making sure that the bottom of this is totally clean. Now, you don't have to do what I, I paint the bottom of mine, but you don't have to do that. Um, in the picture that I seen, they had like soil and then rocks and then the moss and then the succulent on top. You could definitely do that too. Um, I just wanted the base to kind of look more of a concrete with the glass kind of texture. So, and since I already had the gray paint out from the candlesticks before, I figured why not? I'm not wasting any paint. So, I'm just taking the Waverly Elephant Paint and painting 
two coats onto the bottom of my glass. Once that's dry, then I'm going to take off the electrical tape again because it's just wonderful. And I'm going to be using a black like paint marker. Um, you can even use a Sharpie marker for this as well, which I kind of wish I did. Um, but anyway, this is what I had on hand. <laughs> so I'm just going to draw like a squiggly line. Now you can do dashes around the bottom of this, but I just figured I'd do like this little squiggly line and then I'd put the little leaves on there so that it has a little bit of a country feel to it. Um, I could have also gone up a little bit higher on the glass looking back at it with this gray color. Um, but in the end, I still love how this turned out. So you can put as many leaves on as you want. Um, you don't have to do this. It's totally optional. You could just keep it the gray and white or clear. And then I had gotten some of this paint up on the glass, as you can see. And that acetone nail polish remover took it right off. So once you're done decorating your glass however you wanted it, Again, we're going to go in with some of the Spanish moss from the Dollar Tree and a little bit of the reindeer moss as well. And then I'm just taking this bigger succulent from the Dollar Tree and putting it right down in the center. And that is it for this cute little project. Like, I love it. It's so simple. If you have a desk at work and you want some greenery and just to bring some life to your desk, this would be perfect. Um, I kind of can't wait to actually put this on my desk when we return to work. So let me know what you guys think of this third and final project. And if you're going to recreate any of these, um, I'd love to see those pictures. If you could um, share them with me over on Instagram, my information is linked in the bio section on my YouTube page. And um, I'll have everything staged for you in just a moment. And let me know in the comments down below which one of these projects is your favorite so far. Okay guys, and here are all three of these DIYs staged for you right here in my living room on my little corner stand. I love these being placed there. I think they look wonderful and I can't wait to put them on my desk once we get back into the office. And the candlesticks look even better now with the candles on top of them. So I hope you guys like this video. If you're new here, hi and welcome. My name is Rose. On here I do everything Dollar Tree DIY. This is my first, however, Goodwill slash Dollar Tree item DIY. And if this is something that you're into, then please please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified of all my future uploads. I try to upload a new video every week on Fridays. However, if I'm ever late, please go ahead and follow me over on Instagram because that is where you'll find out if for some reason I'm running late with a video, why it's not up for you guys. So I hope you like this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see more DIYs like this and I'll see you guys next Friday. Have a great day. Bye.